Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Nerds Gaming. I am Simon and it's been a bit of a while since I've uploaded a video. I've taken a little bit of a break from YouTube just to kind of get myself back to being myself with everything that's going on. And um, I'm back today with some retro pickups. So I've got some awesome Mega Drive games that I picked up quite recently and I wanted to share with you guys. So let's just get on with it and check them out. So the first game that we have up in this retro pickup is the Bitmap Brothers Gods. Now I do own this on the SNES. I think it's actually one of my few SNES games that I do have boxed. And um, just look at the actual art on that. That's absolutely amazing. It's like worth getting this game just for that artwork as it is. The box is in pretty good condition. Still got the hanging tag on it. A um, little bit of a mark there. If we open it up, we have the manual and obviously the game cartridge. It would be a bit useless without that. Um, so it is complete in box and this is an absolutely lovely thing to add to my collection. Um, from memory of playing it on the SNES, I don't think I got very far. But I did enjoy what I played of it. So I'm going to enjoy playing this on the Mega Drive. Next game I got is Mega Bomberman and this is the original Battle Royale. It is a fantastic game. Although I have never played the Mega Drive version so I'm not too sure how this works but from what everyone's told me it's a fantastic game and one to spend a lot of hours on. So I was quite happy to pick this up. Now what should be said is I picked this and the Gods game up from Morecambe Games. Um, I'll leave information in the description uh, bar below this video and they are a fantastic retro game seller so you know if you want some retro games hit them up on the social medias and they'll get back to you with a price and they'll even post it out to you so back to mega bomber man if we open this up this is again complete in box which is absolutely lovely now i've said many times i'm not too bothered about getting a manual as long as the box is in good condition and i've got the game it's fine but these are absolutely lovely and this box is really nice i really like this Next game up is a game I've been chasing after for a while on the Mega Drive and it is The Adventures of Mighty Max. I actually didn't know this game existed on the Mega Drive until I think a couple of years ago and I seen it pop up and it was like, it does, that doesn't look real. It, it is a real Mega Drive game and um, it is a platformer. Now, if you've never heard of Mighty Max, it was um, a little toy when I was younger, I'll put the advert into Mighty this video. Max, Mighty Max. It's Mighty Max! Welcome to Skull Dungeon. Wow! Mighty Max! Smasher, get up! Your brain donor is here. Me want brain. No way, slime face. Whoa! Watch out for that first step. Ah! 
It's not over, Mighty Max. Will Max get fried? His fate is in your hands. <laughs> Mighty Max, Mighty Max. You can collect all his adventure sets, each sold separately. Mighty Max figure included from Mattel. You can see it. And then um, you had little mini figures. It'd be like a skull or something. And you, you, you it was basically a play set in miniature. And it was really good. And then they actually did a cartoon of it as well. Which is, you know, you can see this is clearly based off. But I'm really happy to pick this up. And I didn't actually have to spend a lot of money to get it. And it is complete in box too. Next up, we have the Simpsons Bart, Bart's Nightmare. I was going to say Bart Simpsons Nightmare. It's Bart's Nightmare. Now, I'm a sucker for Simpsons games, good or bad. And I didn't own this on my Mega Drive. I think I own it on my uh, SNES. I think this was one of the first things I got in a retro box uh, from the retro store. And it was com complete in box. I was absolutely blown away by that. But uh, I seen this in CX, so I got this before the lockdown two happened, and I had to have it. I think I paid about thirty pounds for it, and that I did feel like that was a bit much for it. But I know some of the Simpsons games uh, are quite hard to get hold of, and it is not complete in box, so we don't have a manual. But we do have something on there. It's a warning label. I don't know what that is. I've not seen that before. Let me see that. Yeah, not too sure. Um, if that must be like a game rental or something, it's come from like somewhere like that. Oh, Blockbusters! So it come from Blockbusters. Wow, that's quite nice. A uh, two forty nine. Wow, I wish I paid that for it. But that's quite cool. I wouldn't remove that sticker off there just because it's kind of it dates it a bit from you know the fifth of August nineteen ninety eight. Wow, that's pretty cool. That. Last game um, in this pickup is Clax. Now, I got sent this um, from DNM Games on um, Twitter. He sent me a lovely box full of games and toys, and this was one of them. I don't actually own Clax on uh, my Mega Drive, so I'm quite happy. Even though this is the Genesis version, I don't mind. I absolutely love the box art on this. It looks really nice. It's just got that very funky 90s feel to it. Um, I have played Clax in the past and I, I've enjoyed it. It just gets hard very, very quickly on this game. And as you can see, it's really nice and colourful. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, he sent me some other games as well, but I'm just showing this one off today because it's in the haul. I might show the other ones off at some other times but yeah thank you for that and that is my retro haul
Thank you guys for watching and I really do hope you enjoyed the video. What did you think of my retro pickups? Was there anything in there that you've owned or you do own? Anything that you really like in there? Let me know. Put it in the comment section down below. And as always guys, I will catch you next time.